no one, absolutely no one cares which college you studied. But everybody cares what knowledge, what skills you possess. But at the same time, it is very important for you to, to choose the right college. Even though nobody cares, but your mental growth, your development, your holistic personality growth will not happen unless you choose the right college. So it is very important to choose the right college for your BSc or MSc biotechnology or life sciences. So this video is going to cover both. One important thing is what is my intention towards making this video? See, at Biotechnica, we place a lot of students for the last 18 years we have been doing that. We have a job portal, which is one of the most popular job portals in biotech life sciences in India. And we place a lot of students in the industry. And we have seen what all things they lack. And that is why that motivated me to change this trend at the grassroots level. So that if you can join the right college, then automatically you will be having the right skill set, the right mix of your experience, expertise and exposure. And that will lead to achievement of success and easy placement, right? Now, one very important fact here is you, you should know that biotech colleges employ a lot of deceptive measures to deceive you. Now, why do I say that? Not all of them, but some of them. They may hire faculty who are not as qualified as they advertise in the prospectus. So the people who were advertising the prospectus were different and the people who are going to teach are different. These kind of things we have seen. We have seen that the prospectus had nice advertisement of laboratories, but in reality, there were no laboratories. We have seen that the college claimed placements, but in reality, there were no placements. So by looking at that and looking at the plight of students, I decided to make this video. Now, today I'm going to give you 10 precautions and very practical precautions, a very practical approach towards your career so that you don't do the same mistake which students are doing after crossing the masters, they're realizing that they did a mistake. And it is not that all colleges are bad. It's the best thing. In our country, in this world, not all colleges are bad. Some of them are. And you have every right to find that out. Now, I'm not going to name any of them because you will automatically, if you just listen to all these 10 points which I'm about to share, you'll automatically be able to find out who is real, who is fake. Okay? Let's look at this factor that why do colleges promise fake things? Why do they promise something else? And why do they deliver something else? Because colleges and universities in this country, in the world, is the only organization where the end customer satisfaction does not matter. Once they have got the fees, it's all prepaid, right? Once they've got the fees, even if they don't deliver the service, you don't have a consumer forum for that. You can't go to a consumer forum and file a case against a college saying that they didn't give me this facility even though they promised. Because there's no such situation, there's no, there's no such framework. So it is very important to join the right college at the right time. Now, I'll tell you my story. I joined the wrong college and I dropped out. Then I joined the correct college. My parents lost money there. But then I realized losing money is okay. But if I lose my time and I get wrong exposure, I'll never ever be able to be what I am. And that was the right decision I made. And now I'm going to give you those 10 pointers. Now the first is research the program's curriculum. Now the curriculum and the course, okay, you take that, copy it, paste it in chat GPT and ask that, will this curriculum help me get placed? Being a senior advisor, guide me. And chat GPT will tell you whether it is enough or not. Now, many of the curriculums are same, same and similar, right? But where the change will be, how are they going to teach you? For example, I can teach you the same topic through a chalk and talk method. And the same thing I can teach you by showing you the real thing in the lab. So the second precaution is visit the campus, look for the lab, go inside the lab, sit there, spend time with the students there. And if they do not allow, then remember that they are being deceptive. Say that I want to talk to the existing students. What is wrong in that? I'm going to pay you, right? 
and talk to the current students. Ask what are the feedback they have. And if they are hesitating in giving the feedback, take the phone number, email ID, and anonymously email them or contact them, and then talk to them. Because the students who are already in that college will give you a better picture. Now, the third thing is look for the college's accreditation status. Remember, there are many colleges in India and abroad where they fake it. They don't have a UGC, UGC recognition. They don't have affiliation from any university. They're running the course. I know so many of them. It's all fake. So please go to UGC website. Check if that name is exactly the same. If they say Vivekananda, then it should be Vivekananda. It should not be Viveka and then Space Ananda. Because these small things matter. Okay. Next one, you have to look for placements. Now, why do you bother about it even before the you know classes have started? Is because you are paying them, so it is your right to get the placement. And even if they, they are saying no placement guarantee, at least placement assistance and pla placement cell should be there. If you if they don't have it, then they are just going to run away with your money, and you can't do anything about it. So you have to look for the placement cell. Meet the placement officer. Ask what are the strategies they are following. Now the admission office will be very uncomfortable when you ask all of this, right? Many a times they may be rude to you. So you have to smile and say, I'm, I'm assuming that you are a parent or the student. Don't be scared. Smile and say, sir, I'm going to invest my child's time and 10, 15 lakh rupees a year. I have every right to ask about what will be the outcome. So please don't get offended. Please let me talk to the placement officer. Talk to the placement officer, understand who all have been placed. How have they really been placed? Which company, right? And ask them if they are not getting placed, then where they are going? Are they coming out jobless? Figure it out, find it out. Never ever get into any college or university which says they have a guaranteed placement because nobody in this world can promise you guaranteed placement. This is another precaution. Followed by that, you have to also evaluate the financial side of it. You might be thinking that if I put my child into the best college, it's okay, I'll take a loan, I'll take a 20 lakh loan, I'll still send my child to the best college, but at least his future will be bright. You are thinking in the wrong direction. My dear friend, you have to know this, that the costly is never the best. Not always the best, okay? The costliest may not be the best. I know a college in Bangalore which charges 14 lakhs no placement, while a college which charges three and a half lakhs has placement. Can you believe that? Yes. How it is possible? It is because the willingness, intention, the intention of the college and the system to get something out of their students. So if the college is committed, if the HOD is committed, things will move forward, right? Now, the next thing which you have to evaluate after the placement is also look at the faculty members. You, you should have the list of the faculty, which obviously you will get it in the prospectus. Then when you go there, you ask to meet those faculties so that you can verify, okay, these guys are there or not. And then on the internet, you have something called as Google Scholar. You go and put that faculty name or email ID and see how many papers they have published. Why? Because many a times, uneducated, illiterate people are being put. They have they've hardly passed MSc, they are being put as a lecturer there. I'm not saying MSCs cannot become a lecturer, but at least they should have CSIR net qualification. At, at least they should have some research exposure. Then, then only they can guide the student towards the laboratory exposure, right? Now, laboratory infrastructure, super important. That also you have to keep in mind. Go there, check it out, right? Many times they will show some other lab, but the student might be doing experiment in some lab which is not, you know, uh, properly equipped. So, do some research, what are the equipments which will be required? You can ask Chad GPT, what are the equipments which will be required for this kind of lab? And then have the list and go and ask them, is this particular instrument with you? Because today they will make a joke out of this admission process. Tomorrow, you are going to suffer, your child is going to suffer, and they will not have placement. You will come to me saying, sir, please get me placement. Sir, I will get you the placement, but you paid 10 times to that college, they have to get you the placement. And if they can't, then you can always come to me, you're most welcome to Biotechnica, I will help you. But if they have taken the money, they should get you the placement, that's very important. Whenever you're visiting the campus, please make sure that you're not asking too many questions. You just 
in the course of time, like, you know, sometimes the professors can get offended. Sometimes the admission officers can get offended. Sometimes um, the placement officer can get, get offended. Sometimes the students can get offended. So you just be friendly, just smile, relax, talk. Try to become friendly with them. Try to extract the information which is important for your child's future. Now, at the same time, look at what kind of webinars, seminars, events, conferences this college has participated. Okay, what kind of industry interaction it has done in the past. Look for the LinkedIn page of this college. See how active they are. Are they really active or they're not at all active? Also make sure that the alumni they have, like for example, somebody who studied in this college and now they're somewhere. So you can go, just go to LinkedIn and search. Uh, this particular person who has, I mean, anybody who has, you know, studied at this place, you'll get a list of people who have studied at that place. Now reach out to them. They, they are called as alumni. So reach out to the alumni of the college and find out where they are working. Ask their experience about the college. Now, one very important thing you, which you should know as a parent or a student is, majority of the students always badmouth about their college, right? But that is because of the curriculum pressure, not because the facilities are bad. So that's also you should keep in mind that there can be biased students who feel that the college is not good, while it can be actually good, right? So the college may be really good and they are putting pressure on the student to study and now the student is offended and he will just uh, bad mouth about the college. That can also happen. But in most of the cases, that doesn't happen. Students are genuine and very honest people. So you have to keep your checks and balances in place before you make a decision. Now, for all those students and parents who are looking for admissions and they want my guidance or assistance, you can always write a mail to shekhar at biotechnica.org or you can fill the form given in the description. If you fill that form, our team will contact you and they will guide you in the admission process. We will give you the list of colleges where you can apply and uh, we will try to understand what kind of requirements you have and accordingly we will suggest you the best foot forward. Now at the same time it is very important for all of us to remember that we as a generation will have to support our next generation. These colleges are not doing their job. If we all wake up, they will have to wake up. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.